For your 10 o'clock news, I'm Tim McGonigal. First tonight. It's been a tumultuous year for the Hart Butte School District. Back in January, the school announced that it would cut more than two dozen support staff members. And not long after that, the school principal turned in her resignation, leaving another hole to fill for a district operating with a superintendent on administrative leave and an interim leader in his place. Well, tonight, the school board held a special meeting to consider new leaders for the school district. MTN's Brianna Juno was on hand for the latest chapter in the saga. After a challenging year marked by unprecedented obstacles, the Heartbeat School District convened for a pivotal school board meeting to appoint a new superintendent. A candidate, Marcy Cobell, was interviewed in front of community members, and among those in attendance were Heartbeat School teachers. As the current academic year draws to a close, teachers in the district are grappling with growing apprehension about the future. Budget constraints and previous staff cuts have cast a shadow of uncertainty over the upcoming school year, leaving educators deeply concerned about their ability to provide quality education amid dwindling resources and reduced support. With the weight of recent struggles still fresh, educators hope for leadership that can navigate them through uncertain times ahead, and that will not only work with the school board, but with teachers as well. Pending an interview with a candidate who has applied for the superintendent position, the school board elected to postpone the decision until further notice. MTN News will keep you up to date with any new information. In Heart Butte, Brianna Juno, MTN News. The clock is now ticking for the popular video app TikTok to find a new owner. If it doesn't, the app could be banned in the U.S. because of a new law. Scripps News correspondent James Packard gives us a look at what could come next for the app. We aren't going anywhere. The CEO of TikTok reacting after President Joe Biden signed a law that could effectively ban the app. This is the first time that we have seen divestment in the world of big tech. The law requires TikTok to find a new owner, divorcing from its current owner, ByteDance, a private company based in China but subject to Chinese laws that could require them to turn over data to the Chinese government. A new owner would have to take over before the end of next January or the app would be banned from U.S. app stores and prohibited from U.S. internet hosting services. If I were the company, uh, ByteDance, as the shareholder, I would try to act as soon as possible on a sale. I know that they're very unhappy about this. In the world of mergers and acquisitions, nine months, which is easily extendable up to a year, is more than enough time. And uh, I think that from an investment perspective and shareholder return, that could really be a win-win for everybody. The provision is part of a foreign aid package Congress passed before President Biden signed it Wednesday. It includes aid to Ukraine and Israel. It's a good day for America. It's a good day for Europe. And it's a good day for world peace. The president can extend the deadline for a sale 90 days if he feels the company has made progress toward a sale. Still, the law puts the app at serious risk in its most popular country. The company has denied being an agent of China and says it will fight the law in court. I'm pretty confident that that kind of a lawsuit will likely fail. The facts and the Constitution are on our side, and we expect to prevail again. James Packard, Scripps News, Los Angeles.